Let's start with the operations and the in and out adjustments of the through frame slide out system. So first you're gonna make sure that your battery is fully charged and fully operational. Then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that if you have travel locks on your room, that you get those removed. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to press and hold this extend button until the room is fully extended and the inner seal is sealed against the inside of your unit. If the inner fascia does not seal, you can adjust the out stop by adjusting this nylock nut and this jam nut. So let's adjust this a little bit. So I will loosen up the jam nut and then I will adjust this nylock nut back to where that is and then tighten everything up. And this will adjust the inner seal on the out stop. Now let's retract the room so that the fascia on the room itself seals against the outside of the unit. Now once the room is fully retracted, that's called your end stop. Now if the room doesn't seal properly on the outside of the unit, you can adjust this jam nut and this stop can to actually make it seal. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to extend it out a little bit to get some room here and I'll loosen this jam nut up and then I'll move it back a little bit so that's sealed. Once you get that jam nut tight against the stop can, you're going to want to tighten that up. and then retract the room fully and it should be sealed. Now after you retract the room completely and one of the sides of the room isn't sealed but the other is, then you're going to need to resync the room. And you do this by the adjustable head assembly found on the idler arm. This arm does not have a drive mechanism on it. Loosen the bolts on the idler arm and push or pull the room to align with the drive side. Then what you're going to do is you're going to tighten those bolts back up and you're good to go. If you're not getting a proper seal on the top or bottom of the room, you're going to want to do a vertical adjustment. So step one, we're going to measure between this outer arm here and the bottom of the room. And we're going to do that measurement as close to the I-beam as possible. So let's take that measurement and I get five and an eighth. And I'll write that down. Next, we're going to, for step number two, we're going to measure between this inner arm and the bottom of the room. And we're going to do that as, as close to the head assembly as possible. And for this, I get five and five eighths. Now, to be within tolerance, these two have to be within a quarter. So we'll, we'll subtract step two from step one, and we get one half. Now to be within tolerance, this measurement here needs to be one quarter or less. So now we know that the distance between the bottom of the room and the inner and outer arms is not within tolerance and we need it to be closer. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna loosen up these carriage bolts on the head assembly. It's recommended to mark head assemblies to use as a reference during adjustments.
Now that, that the room bar is loose from the head assembly, now we're going to loosen up the jam nut here. Once that's loose, now we're going to have to loosen this bolt, which, which lowers the room down. Once you have that, you're going to tighten up this jam nut. And once you're good with that, you're going to retake those measurements. We have, now we have a five and a quarter and five and a half. And now we're within that quarter inch tolerance. Now, next, you're going to tighten up these carriage bolts. Now that this side is done, you'll repeat all of those steps on this side and make sure that that quarter inch tolerance is adhered to. Now that your head assemblies have been adjusted and you're within that quarter inch tolerance, you're gonna wanna check and make sure that the seal at the top and bottom of the room is adjusted properly. And you do this by running your room out and running it back in. Now when the room comes back in, you're going to um, notice that the top of the room touches the unit first. And as you can see, there's a gap here where I, I pulled the room out and then I brought it back in and stopped it right when it touched the room. You can see that gap there. This is before the, the bottom seal actually seals. But I wanted to show you that because that is normal and th that's the adjustment that you're gonna want to check after you adjust these uh, head assemblies. So I'm going to pull that back in. Now you can see that it's sealed all the way along the top and bottom and that's correct. Next we're going to do our horizontal room adjustment and you're going to do this adjustment when the room itself isn't centered in the opening of the unit. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to measure from the outside wall of the unit to the inside wall of the room itself. So we're gonna do that and measure that. And then we're going to measure the other side in the same exact spot. So the room is actually off center a little bit like an eighth of an inch to the right in this opening. So I'm gonna make that horizontal room adjustment. And to do that, we're gonna loosen these carriage bolts here on both head assemblies. Once the carriage bolts are loose, you can manually push the room to where it needs to be. And you keep those bolts loosened and then we're gonna measure again. Same spot. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Now the room is centered in the opening of the unit. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to tighten down the carriage bolts and make sure that the room is tight to the head assemblies.